Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and we're going to be starting a new series for a game called Icarus. Now, I played Icarus back in the day. Icarus was a very promising survival game that came out about a year ago. My issues with the game was they weren't persistent worlds. Uh, you would basically start a world, do a mission, your world would get wiped out, and you have to start over again. The starting over again got really, really old really quickly. Okay? But there has been an update, and we now have open world survival mode option which is permanent. It's a persistent world. I am so freaking excited about this. This is straight from the devs. When you start a session, you'll be given a variety uh, of drop locations, difficulty options, and challenges, such as world bosses, storms, and hordes to overcome. With full persistent and multiple sessions being able to be saved simultaneously, the planet can be conquered any way you wish. Now, I'm not sure if this is a work in progress or not, because I didn't see a lot of... um. A lot of choices. Um, there were some choices when I started the game. You know what? Let's just start the game now and I'll show you the choices that I had. Um, I did have a level 16 character, but I want this to be, you know, legit from the very beginning. So we're going to start with this character right here. KG48. I did play for about a half hour and I had a great time. So I'm very excited on where this game's going to go. So you can start a new world, load or join. We're going to go ahead and start a new world. You could do open world. Missions or outposts. I'm going to go ahead and do open world. You've got Olympus, which was the old world, and you got Styx, which is the new world. Now, I think the new world is a little bit more challenging. We're going to go with Styx anyway, because it is the new world. So they built everything up and, and all that. So um, it's still a pretty new game to me. We're going to go ahead and create a new world here. Um, we're going to go with medium and prospect name. Um, shoot, what season is this? All righty. This is season two. Hell yeah, dude. Season two. There's our loadout. I think as you play the game and you do missions, you can get like special items in orbit and then bring them down for like other missions and stuff. I'm not really sure exactly how it works, but we're going to go ahead and confirm loadout. Now there's three different spots we can start here. Um, I kind of like this spot the best, so that's where we're going to start. That's uh, comfortable, medium, medium food, medium O2, high, um, abundant rocks. Oh, rocks. Okay. Medium uh, passive creatures. High aggressive creatures, a lot of wolves. Okay, so we're gonna have to watch out for the wolves. I do not want to die. We're gonna make it private. And yeah, so there's gonna be a spot by the water I'm gonna want to build at, but I think I'm gonna build an outpost up by the, by the rocks first because it seems like the wolves are going to be an issue as I get closer to the water. I mean, it makes sense. Like in any survival situation, there's gonna be more creatures by water sources and, and whatnot. So um, that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna try and level up Unlock the skills that are going to be important to me. There's different skills in this game uh, as far as like there's a whole bunch of skills that are like normal skills. And then there's skills that are single player skills. And the single player skills can only be used in single player. But I think they're like powerful. So it's like to offset. Uh, and they're called talents, I think, not skills. Yeah, talents. So right here, you've got the solo skills. And I think these things are offset uh, or to help offset the fact that single player is going to be harder because you're by yourself. All right, now what we're gonna have to worry about is O, if it's bottom left hand side, O2, food, and water. Okay, we're also gonna have to worry about hot and cold and stuff like that. And let's step on out and take a look around, see where we are on the map. Yes, okay. All right, this is fine. I think I wanna make my way over to the rocks, maybe over here. I don't really know where would be a good spot to build. Right now, I'm just going to grab everything I can. And the first thing, see the, see that oxide stuff I just picked up? You put that in here, and it'll, like, feed your O2. So you're going to keep a lookout for that oxide stuff. And then you can eventually make oxygen bladders and, and things like that. So, all right. I think I'm going to be looking for stone. There's some food over here. I'm going to leave the food unpicked for the time being. There's no point in uh, picking food I don't need, because then that just starts the, you know, the timer for it to spoil. So I will leave it where it is. All right, there we go. We need to level up before we can do anything. So let's just go ahead and just pick a bunch of stuff up. Actually, I think you level up by crafting too. So let's see what we can craft. Yeah, we'll okay, we're gonna craft this. You don't need to you don't need to level up to make the stone tools. So Alright, there we go. We got a pick, and that's gonna go as number four. And then we're gonna look for a rock. There will be storms in this game, and you're gonna wanna stay out of the storms. They could cause you some, you know, maybe some minor issues or maybe some serious issues, depending on how bad the storm is. Uh, and if you look on the top right hand side, that's the environmental temp. That's where it'll tell you when a storm's gonna come in. So I think I'm just gonna make like a little one by one, just a place for me to like hide out from the storms and everything. 
uh, at first. And eventually, I will be building on the water. All right, so I'm just going to pick everything up. All right, pick it up, pick it up. Here we go. So there was an easy, medium, and, uh, and, and hard setting. I didn't see any, like, really intricate controls or intricate, you know, choices that I can make for the settings. Uh, maybe I missed it. I don't know. Kind of excited to get playing, so I didn't want to spend all day in menus. Uh, but yeah, I might have to look into that at a later date. Let's go ahead and put that as number three. And now we can chop down trees. All right, so we'll go ahead and chop down some trees. You know, I've been playing so many games in third person mode that like now when I play a game that I can't play in third per third person mode, it's kind of messing with me. All right, here we go. All right, let's go ahead and chop this up. And we'll take those. I don't know if you can chop them any smaller. You might be able to, but that's the kind of wood I want, so I'm not going to chop them any smaller. Can I just hold down the button? Yes, I can. All right, cool. Come on. There we go. All right, let's get level one, people. You know a game's serious when you start off at level zero. I wouldn't exactly call this an overly difficult game, but I wouldn't call it an easy game either. You can't be dicking around. All right, there we go. If I d Oh, I got the halves. Interesting. Uh, so how do the uh, so I don't think they're any different. I think it's just all wood. So once you can pick it up, just pick it up. Oh, I, I know why they're halves because it's the top part of the tree, and there's not as much wood in there. Okay, grab that and that, and I think we're done with the wood here. Let's get out into the sun. Do I want to build over there? I can't tell which way I'm facing. Yeah, I think I want to build over there. I kind of want to build against the rocks. I guess there's no reason to, though. And there'll probably be less resources over there, so... Okay. Now, if we build near our ship, we'll always have a marker. Oh, shit. That's a wolf. Okay, maybe I'll Maybe I'll go over here. Although, I don't know if there's any way to tell exactly where the wolves are and where they're not. Alright, let's go through the water. I think there could be piranhas in the water, so be careful with that. And, yeah, we're just going to build right here. This is a temporary base, so who cares? Alright, looks like a pretty decent spot. Okay, so building. Crafting. Oh, we need like a building hammer or something, don't we? Oh, no, we, we have to spec into building. That's right. So building is all the way at the end, correct? Yes, so we got thatch beams. We got wooden beams. I guess we're going with thatch for now. Uh, and then we'll do thatch floors. Thatch walls, and that's good enough for the time being. So let's go back to crafting. And we make these in our inventory. Okay, so we're going to make a couple of these. And we'll make uh, five, uh, four of these. And then let's go ahead and put that on our hotbar. And just start building this up. Sure. I don't know if uh, floors will get rid of foliage. So I'm going to build them up like they won't. All right, so we'll put a floor right here. Six. There we go. I don't know if there's actually foundations. Actually, there might be foundations. I, sh I should look. Let's take a look. I could have swear there's foundations in this game. Maybe they're like stone foundations. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to not worry about it. Let's just start building out. Um, so right there. And there. Looking good. And then we'll put this right here. I'm just going to put these... Uh, I'm pretty sure you don't need these like... You know, poles everywhere, but I'm going to put them everywhere just, you know, because whatever. If I lose one, you know, it just helps it with uh, more stability. And there we go. We got a platform. So what did that thatch take? Obviously, it took a uh, son of a bitch. I don't even have a weapon. Uh, well, I have an axe. I think this is going to be my first death. I mean, I could stay up here, but I don't see what that's going to... Yeah, let me see if I can hit him from here. No, it's a jaguar. Okay, um, I'm not really sure to handle this. Do I want to go down there and fight him, or I kind of want to hit him from safety. There we go. Come on, come on, dickhead, over here. Oh, can you not see me because I'm stealthed? Huh. Ow. Alright, let's just do this. Ow! Oh, stand on him. You hit him in the head, you get bonus damage, so. There we go. Ooh, okay, well, we're, we're not off to a good start. Um, I can't butcher them because I don't have a knife. Uh, I don't know where I would spec into knives. 
Let's go down here. Um, yeah. Uh, no, that's spear. Stone knife. Okay. So we need to get another level. Okay, fair enough. I don't know how to get hit points back either. Let's go ahead and eat, because I think when, eat, when you eat, you get, like, bonus stuff. Consume, you get, like, bonus hit points. But you can spec into bandages. Honestly, I don't even think the regular bandages give you back hit points. I think you just kind of suck it up, Buttercup. Let's go ahead and grab some of those oxygen thingies. So we do have to keep an eye on our oxygen. So what am I getting from this? So I am getting sticks and fiber. So these are all I need to build up that foundation. Okay, so I just gotta try and level up, stay out of trouble, and maybe get a bow. I think that would be my next, um, my next order of business will be a bow. Shoot. I think I'm done. Oh, that's a wolf, too. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, you guys get to see what happens when I die, so that's fun. Um, hopefully it doesn't, uh, camp my bag. This is gonna be really tough, man. <laughs> this is gonna be tough. I didn't think I'd be getting killed like right away and i'm right by my spawning area so i'm not really sure how to handle this situation but now when you spawn well it'll it'll tell you in a minute hold on when you respawn when you respawn uh your gear will be left where it is on the map mark you get it but you will lose you're going to get experience debt no bed found so now we have to come down in a random spot i don't think that's random i think that's where i came down last time i think i'm gonna oh i'm not by my starting area Maybe I should just come back to this thing and try and build over there. Since I've already been attacked by a wolf and a and a jaguar. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try and grab my stuff and maybe not even grab my stuff. Maybe just go back to where I was. And hopefully there won't be any enemies around there. I'm back near my dropship and I see wolves on the like across the river, but I don't see any on this island. I'm hoping that this island will be wolf free. We'll we'll see about that. I'm not convinced, but I will uh Definitely hope that that is the case. Let's go ahead and chop this out. That doesn't seem to be able to come out. There we go. We got some more wood. Well, I've got a little platform here started. So let's go ahead and make ourselves some more of these beams. Let's make four more for now. And six. Okay. So that's not going to work that way. So we're going to have to go this way. Fine by me. And that'll be a little entrance. Oh, see, we got a weather event. All right, so I'm going to stop what I'm doing, and I'm going to get start preparing for that weather event. Actually, I don't think I can. I don't think I have anything that can, um, yeah. Yeah, let's take a look at the tech tray. I don't have any, did I, did I, yeah, I specced into walls, but I couldn't spec into ceilings. Maybe I could use the thatch floor as a ceiling. That, yeah, maybe that'll work. All right, crafting wall one. Okay. Now, if, if I get caught out in this, it's probably not going to be, like, me getting killed, but, you know, it just could be annoying. So, we're going to go ahead and put that right there. And number six. Make sure that lines up. Um, variance rotate is R. There we go. And we are not safe from that. <laughs> uh, you need walls, man. You can't just be, like, you know, one freaking ceiling and stuff. I mean, the birds aren't going to attack, are they? I hope not. <laughs> That would be awful. Uh, that's got to be like that. R. And... I'll just put this here for now, I guess. How, is there a way to tell if you're, like, inside? I don't remember how. Um, can I make doorways or variants? R. Hold down R, and there's a doorway. Yeah, can I make a door? I don't think I'm inside. There's supposed to be some kind of thing that pops up. Telling you you're inside. So, I don't think I'm actually, like, protected. Let me go ahead and craft another wall. I don't know how to take that stuff down. I think I need a hammer to take down the walls. So, I think what we're going to do is we are just going to make as many walls as we can. Crafting tree, walls, max. Six sounds good to me. That'll work. And I'm just... Oh, I probably shouldn't block myself in... Yeah, no shelter. See how it says no shelter? Oh, there we go. I have shelter. It doesn't... Does it say somewhere on the map I have... Uh, or on the on the uh, UI I have shelter? I don't... I don't know. If, if it does, I'm missing it. But you could tell I have shelter because right here... It says no shelter. No, it, um, yeah, no shelter. No shelter. And that's far enough back to where I have shelter. Okay, cool. So we just got to wait out the storm at this point. 
spent the rest of the storm inside the little shelter I had there, and it worked It worked uh, like a charm. And now I'm going to be chopping down some more trees here and trying to level up so I can get a bed and possibly some weapons as well. I feel very nervous without weapons. I feel like, you know, you know how you start off with, like, a stone, the ability to make the um, stone pick and the stone axe? I feel like you should be able to make, like, a wooden spear or something right off the bat. There we go, leveled up. Okay, I'm trying not to pick the uh, vegetation unless I actually need to eat it. You know, because of spoilage and, and stuff. So let's come on up here, and I think we're going to make ourselves one more. Well, we're going to need these for roofs, so we're going to need uh, one and then another six. So we're gonna need, I'm just going to make four for now. That'll be fine. And we also need to spec into that hammer. Let's take a look at the, um, at the old tech tree. Okay. Um, wooden hammer. I'm pretty sure maintainer upgrade structures against the Wrath of Icarus. Okay, so maybe I don't need the hammer to tear stuff down. Maybe I just gotta hit it. I'm probably gonna want the hammer anyway, so. Uh, what do I have? Three points? Motherfucker. Uh, we need the bed, man. I need, a, I need a place to spawn. And I need a way to defend myself. So. That's it. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I can do the bow, but I can't do arrows. Okay. So we're gonna have to wait on the bow because we can't do arrows. The spear will give us something. Yeah, we'll do the spear. Okay, great. So what do I need for the bed? Oh, also, talents. I put a point into quick load uh, in the combat bow and crossbow tree. Uh, it helps reload speed of bows and crossbows. I'll we'll put another point into that. All right, and then I'm going to craft myself a spear and a campfire. You can also make javelins, which I'm not that good with, but whatever, I can make them, so why not? All right, so six and R. Ooh, does it matter which way they're facing? I don't think so. Hopefully not. And then we'll put up some roof pieces. Okay. There we go. And then we'll put up some walls. Uh, this will be a door. So that's got to face out. Hold R. Door. How do you make doors? I don't freaking know. <laughs> I don't freaking know at all, man. All right, let's make some windows. Um, I'd like a window facing each way. So I'm thinking a window there, a window there, and a window there. And then full walls, please. I didn't look to see which way they were facing. Whatever. Not really that big of a deal. I can always, I can always change it later. All right, cool. So we got a little bit of an inside area here. Let's take a look at the bed. Um, right there. Oh, fudge me. We're going to have to kill something before we can make a bed. That means we're going to need a knife. Killing something doesn't even help. I should have specced into the knife first. Oh, man. Just F-ups left and right. I should have done the stone knife. Oh, well. Let's, uh, let's go level up. I'm going to actually... Uh, come outside and see what that storm is going to do to me. Uh, I'm also going to take a look at the weight. Okay, we're okay on the weight for now. You know, it's a slow start, but it's a slow game. And I think because, like, the world's persistent, you're not going to be restarting. Maybe they want to slow it down even more than they used to. I'm not really sure. Well, well, well. That's what happens when you stay out in the storm. Oh, no, that's right. That's concussion. I thought this was, like, some kind of pneumonia or something. But no, that's concussion. Uh, I cut down a tree and it fell on my head. So... That's why there's concussion there. I'm going to go ahead and take a drink out of there. I think you do have a chance of getting sick. Yep, yep, that's what I thought. What if you could boil water? By the way, my uh, wall, when I, the tree fell down on my head, it also fell down on my wall, and I can't get rid of it. I'm not sure. Like, I guess i got to chop this stuff. I'm, I'm, I honestly don't know. I can't build another wall here. It won't let me. And I think it's because, like, the wall's damaged, but maybe I could repair it. I, I'm not really sure. Uh, what's going on with that? All I know is it's getting dark. Let's see what we got here. So we have oh dysentery. Okay. All right. So he's got to eat more. All right. That's fine. That's not. That's not like a, a huge deal. My goodness, that was a long night. Woo! Long, long, long night. Uh, I am struggling to survive here. I need food. I need oxygen. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and here. Let's see if we can get this guy. All right. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, we're going to go ahead and break this rock up. You can actually... You don't actually need the bow to kill these creatures. You can, you know, throw the spear. Uh, it's just... It's a lot harder, you know? 
Uh, I barely ever hit him with the spear. Although I have hit him, I've been known to hit a deer or two with the spear, but it's it's not easy. And honestly, without the without the knife, there's really no point to it at all. All right, there we go. It's gonna be much better ways to get oxygen, by the way, later on. This is just uh, keeping us alive for the time being, and we should be able to get more oxygen later. Uh, I do have some food here. I'm gonna go ahead and consume the stack. Consume the stack. All right, so food has come around a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the what are those pumpkins? Are they called pumpkins? Yes, they are called pumpkins. Okay, I don't know. We're on some kind of alien planet. Maybe they call maybe they call them somewhere else, something else here. Although it's not like there's anyone here to tell me what they call them, but you know, you get what I'm saying. I've I've been collecting wood all night. Uh, the, the nights are really dark. Can't do too much at this stage of the game. I really should have made a beeline for the bed before nighttime. But you know, live and learn, right? You guys can learn it through me and have a better game than I did. Uh, because I will teach you with all my mistakes. Uh, this seems to be the a really good way to get experience. It's quick. And this stuff's light, so I don't have to go drop it off. What was that? Okay. There's a bunch of animals over there. <laughs> yeah, this was definitely... Um, I don't know. I don't know if there's any wolves on this little island. This little spit of land. That I've got here. I don't know if there's any wolves on here. I'll bet you there is. Probably down by the water. I'm just going to kind of stay away from the water uh, for now. At least until I get a bow. Go ahead and get some more of this. Um, I remember a really good way to level up was to kill the animals. So once I can kill some, I will be... Um, I will be uh, <laughs> dispensing cage justice as I like to go. Oh, fuck me. Never mind. There's a wolf right there. Son of a bitch, dude. What the hell? Can I kill him? I might be able to kill him. I don't know. Maybe. Alright. Let's see if we can get up here. Mm. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's go around this way. We're going to keep our stamina. If we get attacked, we get attacked. Right. I would really love a bed. A bed would be... An Ooh, a rabbit. Maybe I could chase him down. Where'd he go? There he is. Alright, hold on. Stab him once. I don't know why I'm stabbing him, because I can't... I can't butcher him, so... Oh, whatever. He got me some experience, so... I guess that's good. I feel awful that I just killed something I didn't need to. I keep forgetting I can't butcher them, man. I need the levels. I gotta get... I'm going for... Okay, rain. Incoming rain. Find shelter to protect yourself. Well, there's a freaking wolf by my... Base, so it's not exactly gonna be very protecting. But I hope we can make a rain jacket at some point. I'm sick of having to go inside when it's raining. <laughs> oh, what is that? Look at that. That's um sulfur, maybe? I don't know. I recognize the color, I don't remember what it was though. We might have to fight this wolf if he's by my base. So wolves will go after kills. So if you kill a deer or something and he's not by your base, you could, like, I guess leave the bones. And maybe that'll, like, bring in a wolf and you can go hunt the wolf as well. If you want to. Um, my fire just went out, so that sucks. And, but if you have, like, animals by your base, you might want to, you know. Is he around? I don't think he's around. If you have, if you have animals by your, if by your base, you might want to cut up all the, all the bones and stuff so you don't get wolves visiting you. During the day. So I think mining stone is a really good way to get experience. I was getting like 30 experience per hit. It's freaking great. Holy crap. By the way, uh, as far as the storm goes, I'm um, getting movement penalty. Oh, it just went away. I'm not really sure why. Uh, hold on. Let's see if There we go. Movement penalty and less experience. Okay. All right. Let's go inside. I don't want that storm exposure to get all the way up. Okay. So this is what I should have put my points in the first... Oh, by the way, your, uh, yeah, your place will collapse in storms. I guess I kind of have to do the hammer at this point. Um, the knife. And I'm going to make the fire whacker. We're not going to do the bow. Um, the reason we're not going to do the bow is because the, I can't do, the bow without the arrows is pointless. And the whacker is in case my place gets on fire. And the hammer is to repair and I need to do both. So that's just another, you know, another level I have to push the bow back. Six. There we go. Repaired. Can I repair this? There we go. 
Beautiful. By the way, I got to put this down over here. This wall. Remember, I couldn't put this wall down. I was eventually able to put the wall down. All right, cool. So it seems like the um, the roof pieces are the pieces that really take damage during the storms, which kind of makes sense. So the storm is just about over. Uh, let me see if I have enough stone for a stone pile. I do not, although I'm pretty close, but um, we should be okay. All right, I am going to try and hunt something. Something small. Something that won't fight back. That would be the best. Uh, maybe, you know what? I wonder if that, I wonder if that rabbit's corpse would still be there. I bet you it would have attracted a, uh, a wolf. I mean, I could try and fight a wolf. Just, you know, doesn't seem, like, they're really tough. And like, they all have different levels and they're usually pretty high. You on the other side of the river, I hope? Yep. He saw me though. Shit, dude, seriously? Wolf's gonna run across a river to get to me? I don't even know. I can't possibly have that much meat on my bones. I've been barely eating anything. All I've been eating is fruits and vegetables. Oh my goodness. I don't know if he's still on me or not. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. We'll go this way then. <laughs> this game's pretty hardcore at the beginning, man. I, I don't think it's always like this, but... You know, that's okay. That's okay. It's hard, but it's fair. Okay, let's see if we can find something to kill that's not a wolf. That's a deer, but it's over there. I don't know if I want to go over there. It's a really far throw, too. Alright, let's give it a shot. The hell with it. You only live once. Nope. Okay. Okay. I'm going to let him go. And there's a wolf right there, right in front of me. Good thing I was stealthed. I'm pro stealth. <laughs> Too many freaking wolves on this island, man. Oh, there we go. All right, hold on. There we go. Yeah, boy. Right through the log. Oh, my God. That was lethal. Oh, that was nasty. All righty. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and take the knife and hold the skin. Now you can um you can skin this guy for his innards, uh, which is cool. Or you could bring him to a butcher's table. What? One fur? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, hold on. Oh, it's a Komodo dragon. I didn't even know those were in the game. These things are nasty. All right, let's get some stamina. Get away. Nope. Alright, I'm just trying to weaken him up. We're going to have to melee him at some point. Alright. There you go. Oh, damn. Headshot, baby. By the way, what's up with only getting one effing fur? I need, don't I need 20 to make the bed? Uh, maybe I'm missing something. I hope so. I hope so. Let's get the bones. There we go. Yeah, Komodo dragons, man. I remember hearing those on Mr. The, the Mr. Ballin podcast. Actually, it was on the it was on YouTube. It was on his YouTube channel. And um, yeah, it's, oof. I mean, I don't. I mean, they're obviously not too crazy in the game, but man, like in real life, those things are nasty. All right, so I'm gonna take this guy and I'm going to go back to camp, and I'm gonna look at the bed again because I'm telling you right now, if that was one fur and I need twenty to make a bed, I don't want to sit through another night. For real. So, um, let's just go back and see. I am going to do some research about this, guys, because the bed, like I said, hey, that rhymes, takes 20 fur, and I got one. Obviously, I'm missing something obvious here, hopefully, because if I got to kill 20 deer, you know how many nights it's going to take me? How many nights I'm going to have to sit up through to kill those deer? Maybe I'm missing something. I'm not really sure. I'm going to do some research, and you guys can also let me know in the comments. Other than the fur thing, I'm having a great time. This is just... This game's so freaking close. I'm gonna go kill that wolf. The hell with him. The hell with him. Let's kill. Oh, we kill the bird. I'm gonna kill this wolf. Yeah, I feel like this game is so close to being fantastic, and they just they keep like just they're so off with things like the fur, you know. Um, that we'll just kind of have to say. I'm gonna go after this guy first. See, why did that go so? Oh, I didn't wait long enough. Damn! Damn! That is nasty! 
I guess you gotta wait longer to hold, you know, hold down the thing. The only other thing I could think of is that you're supposed to get the butcher's table, but I think that's pretty far down the tray. I don't think that's like anything I'm gonna be getting right now. And look at it, no fur. So I killed two deer and got one fur. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and kill the wolf, just because I want to. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have to do some research into this because I need I need answers because that's I'm really hoping I'm just missing something because I really really like this game. But man, that is um, yeah. Maybe there's another bed or another way I could pass the nights that I don't know about. I don't know where this wolf went. And if I'm going to fight him, it needs to be on my terms. I'm not going to go looking for him and have him jump me. So anyway, guys, if you want to see more of Icarus, let me know in the comments. Uh, make sure you uncage that like button, share the video with your friends, all that good stuff. If you're new here, maybe subscribe. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, I know about half of you guys watching my videos on the reg are not subscribed. Uh, it means a lot to a channel, though, to have you subscribe. So I hope today is the day I've earned your subscription. Yeah, we'll see. We will see. And if not, I'll get you next time. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.